Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and on this episode I'm gonna be doing something that people have been bothering me about for the past couple of years. I'm not sure if somebody had a new idea. It seems like this idea popped up only a couple of years ago and everybody's been spouting it off ever since. Where when you're cutting threads, I've got thread like a thread repair cutter right there for a cylinder head like a little spark plug hole. Everybody's been telling me, Ernest, Ernest, you need to fill up these flutes right here with grease and that'll catch all the metal shavings and I won't get metal shavings down in the cylinder and that'll eliminate the step of having to clean out the cylinder. And I don't think that's really possible. I think there's gonna be metal shavings down inside the cylinder no matter what. It just cuts so much material. Um, I did one of these recently, so I'll have plenty of footage to compare that to. Uh, it leaves quite a bit of metal down in the cylinder, but there's so much metal that it makes me think there's not enough room in those flutes for all that metal to go, especially if there's already grease there. So. While we get heading down to the junkyard here, I brought just the tools I'll need to cut some threads in the head of some vehicle that's just chilling in the junkyard. Every time I go to the junkyard and do an experiment there, I usually buy something so I'm not like uh, taking advantage of the junkyard. Most junkyards you have to pay just to get into, uh, but my favorite little local junkyard here, they'll let you in for free. So I don't like to take advantage of them letting people in for free and just doing like experiments on their junkyard cars. So I'll probably buy like a coil or something while I'm there. But uh, I brought just the tools I should need in order to do a little experiment and I brought an inspection camera so we can get a good look for sure. And hopefully this will be a good video that will squash the debate once and for all uh oh i just that was that sound going through that turn my bit just flew off the seat once and for all we're gonna know or i'm gonna have the answer for myself because it's been bothering me and i don't think it makes sense to fill it up with grease but hopefully this video will answer that question should you put grease in the flutes of your cutter all right just a couple minutes away from the junkyard somehow i end up parking on the road every time i come here the parking lot's full like the five to maybe 10 cars you could fit in there max. There's no spots. I'll show you when I'm walking past, but I don't want to block anybody in there. So let's grab this bucket. <laughs> There's already people parked behind people out here. And then you're supposed to be able to pull into the road from over there, but I wasn't going to take that one last spot, cut off the turn in. All right, I've just been looking around for a few minutes. Um, this one looks like it's the exact right motor, but this car's been in a crash and the motor's all closed up. So I don't want to do anything to this one because that motor's probably fine. So let me find a motor that's either opened or a car that hasn't been in a crash because that'll be in here from a bad motor. Uh, but I'm looking for something like this. See that ugly lime green? I think I spot the motor I know this already fits on. This will probably fit any motor in my full water. Let's go check out that green. It looks like a Fiesta. Something with a small Ford motor there. Pretty busy today. Must be the nice weather. <laughs> There's this car. Yeah. Uh, motor open to the elements. Nothing crazy. All right. I think this will fit. Let's test it out. Actually, I've never seen one of these valve covers before. Let me see. Look. Isn't that crazy? cylinders to experiment on there. Okay, while well, I'm taking this one out, let's see what it normally looks like again. Let's get a camera down in here. Check this one out, it's like the same size. Okay, 
enough room in there to see what's going on. I took some pictures, I'll show you. Let's just go ahead and put it straight to the test. Alright, easy as that. I figured that's all it would take to completely fill that. So nobody can say I didn't use enough. And that started just perfectly. Let's do it. Well, I'll tell you one thing, I can't really tell if it's cutting it so smooth. Yeah, I think it's actually cutting now, I can feel it. Saying, I'm not seeing any grease, it's like completely dried up, and you can see that metal is just barely holding on there, so it doesn't look like that grease caught at all. I think it's a bad idea. Okay, and uh, you can see how much of a mess that made. If any of the grease got down in there. gonna make any metal flakes that did get down in there way harder to take out and I didn't even get that cut all the way down yet yeah so last time it actually just binded up from all the metal getting into the bit I thought maybe I'd hit the piston but totally have enough room okay that's all the way down let's take some good pictures of how many metal flakes are in there and chalk this up too don't do that again bad idea
course this Subaru has a hole in its block. That's an easy one. Sometimes I come to the junkyard and look around for fun to see if I can figure out why certain cars got in the junkyard. Easy to tell on that one. What attracted me over here though is this. I think these have a terabyte hard drive in them. So if you're good at computers, let me know. But I think that right there is a terabyte. Those are worth scrapping if it's not sitting out in the rain like this one is. Sube. All right, well, I paid the junkyard for their time. And that does not give my vote of approval. I have a few issues with it. Let's head out. Now, primarily, it didn't work. That's my main issue. You could maybe get it to work, but it's uh, more work than it's worth, if that makes sense. You can just blow out the metal chunks with compressed air. It's not hard. But my other main huge concern with it is the fact that if any of that grease falls down in there, you are going to have way harder of a time getting any sort of metal that's stuck to that out of there than you would if you just cut it. You leave all the metal dry. You could use some cutting oil, but I like to leave it dry. If you need to, we use some brake cleaner, but brake cleaner is not going to dissolve that grease with metal flakes stuck in it. So if you get any of that down there in your cylinder, it's going to be so much more work to get out than it is just those normal metal flakes. I mean, mine takes a couple of minutes because my air compressor is so small, I have to let it charge up, you know, three to five times sometimes, depending on how long it takes to get all those flakes out. If I had a shop compressor, it would just take 20 to 30 seconds of blowing air in there. So totally not worth the extra work it takes. If you have anything go wrong with that, you're gonna have to blow it out anyways, because I think even if you do it really well, you're still gonna get some metal flakes down in there, just like we saw the first time before I cut it all the way down. So. That gets a disapproval thumbs down from Ernest. Uh, I ain't gonna be doing that in the future, so don't recommend it either. <laughs> hey, don't pull out in front of me. Jeez. If you like this episode, you gotta make sure you're subscribed and you leave this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, but I can't see how I'd be mistaken on that one. If you wanna buy me a drink or something, you can donate the links in the description. I'll see you on the next episode. Check it out right up here. Glad we figured that out.